Welcome to the lesson that will demonstrate how to create a customized banner for your Google site. The first thing you'll want to do is click on the print screen button What that does is it takes a picture of your website. Once you click on the print screen button of your keyboard, you're going to go to an image editing program. I'm going to go ahead and take you to one called Pixlr. It's a free online image editor. So after you click on the print screen button of your website, go ahead and open Pixlr. Go ahead and click on create a new image. Click OK and now choose edit paste. When this window pops up, say OK. I would go ahead and select always allow the application to access the clipboard and click OK. Use the move tool if you need to in order to move the picture of your website. Now what you want to do is use the eyedrop tool, click on that and then click on the color of where your customized banner will be. Then you're going to choose file new image. I'll go ahead and call this banner and I'll set the dimensions to something like maybe 700. I'll just type in 700 and then I'm going to type in the dimensions of 90 and say OK. Once you create the banner, you're going to click on the paint bucket tool and fill it in with that color of where your banner will be. Then you're going to click on the A or text tool and when you start typing, you need to replace the color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here and I'm going to move this over and I'm going to pick up the color of where the content will be and I will click OK. Notice how that color changes. I will then click down and I will type in the name of my banner. And I might type in 7th grade social studies. Okay, and what you want to do is you might want to come in and play around with some of these different fonts until you find a font that you are happy with. And I'm going to go ahead and play around right now. I might go with this font and to increase the size, go to the size option and scale it and that's actually a pretty decent scale and say OK when you're done. You can use the move tool to move that text and when you're happy with that go ahead and choose file, save, leave it as a JPEG for format, you might set it to a hundred for quality, say OK and then locate the folder where you've been saving everything for your unit. Go ahead and click on save. I might keep this open because once I add it to my website I might come back and make some changes. So I'll go ahead and return to my website. I'll go to more. I'll choose manage site. I will go to site layout. When this loads, I'm going to go where it says change logo under header. I will then browse for that image. Once you locate the banner, select it and it will load and you will say OK. You will then save and return to your site. Now notice how the text is still there. You want to get rid of that. So to get rid of it, you can go to more again, choose manage site, and notice where it has the site name. You want to get rid of that check mark where it says show site name at top of pages. Go ahead and save again and return to your site so you can see those changes. It's still there. Manage site, show site name at top of page, save it return and it's gone. I don't know why it didn't disappear. It should have. So that is how you add a customized banner to your website. Until next time, you have a wonderful day.